Here is a daily GK and current affairs quiz for 7th of April 2017. So the first question for the same is, what is the current reverse repo rate as per first bi-monthly monetary policy review for 2017-18 of the Reserve Bank of India, that is RBI? So the choices are A, 6%, B, 6.25%, C 6.5% or D 5.75%. So the correct choice is A that is 6%. Now as per the first bi-monthly poli monetary policy review for 2017-18 of Reserve Bank of India, the repo rate that is the main policy rate that is the we are talking about the repo rate which is the main policy rate at which banks borrow from RBI, it remains unchanged at 6.25%, while RBI raised reverse repo rate by 25 base points, basis points to 6%. So reverse repo rate remain, remained unchanged, whereas the reverse repo rate remained unchanged, while as the repo, reverse repo rate, it was raised by 6 uh, uh, by 25 basis point to 6 percent and cut the marginal standing facility the marginal standing facility rate and the bank rate by 25 basis points to 6.5 percent so the central bank also allowed banks to invest in real estate investment trusts and infrastructure investment trusts in a bid to spur investments in core infrastructure sectors so the bank uh, the Re reserve bank of india has done all these changes to increase investments in infrastructure core infrastructure sector the reverse repo rate is the rate at which banks lend funds to RBI. This fund, this rate which at which the banks lend funds to RBI has been increased. Okay, so the next question. Which state government will start a one-year diploma course on Hindu, uh, Hindu Purohitam, Purohitam? So the choices are A. Uttar Pradesh, B. Madhya Pradesh, C. Jharkhand or D. Rajasthan. So the correct choice is B. Madhya Pradesh. The Madhya Pradesh uh, government run Maharishi Patanjali. Now Maha, Maharishi Patanjali Sanskrit Sanskrit Sanstha it will start a one year diploma course on Hindu priest Purohitam. So it is a one year diploma course on Hindu priest Purohitam from July 2017. So it, the course begins in July 2017 and this course is open for all irrespective of caste, gender or religion. The basic qualification needed is class 10. The student should be class 10th passed. Thus, there, are, there will be no specifications on caste as both scheduled caste and Brahmins can apply for the course. The candidates will be taught basics of priesthood, rituals, mantras in accordance with Hindu tradition. Moving on to next question. Which digital campaign has launched for 2017 International Day of Sports for Development and Peace? So... Choices are A. Play for Peace B. Play for Sustainable Development Goals C. We Play Together or D. End Violence So the correct choice is C. That is We Play Together The UN International Day of Sports for Development and Peace Now this is UN's International Day of Sports for Development and Peace which is observed every year on April 6th it is to recognize the power of sport in promoting peace and its ability to inspire. This year, 2017, the United Nations Office on Sport for Development and Peace launched a digital campaign that is We Play Together. This is a digital campaign to encourage organizations and individuals who support or carry out sport for development and peace activities to partake in commemoration of the IDSDP that is International Day of Sports for Development and Peace right next question India and United Kingdom will set up how much amount of green growth equity fund 
GGEF that is Green Growth Equity Fund to finance clean energy projects. The choices are A. 255 million pounds, B. 340 million pounds, or C. 555 million pounds, or D. That is 240 million pounds. So the correct choice is D. That is 240 million pounds. The government of India and United Kingdom have decided to set up a fund worth 240 million to finance clean energy projects in India. So this will finance clean energy projects in India. So this will be known as Green Growth Equity Fund, which will be the sub fund of National Investment and Infrastructure Fund. Now, this will be this particular fund that is Green uh, Growth Equity Fund will be a will be a sub fund of National Investment and Infrastructure Fund. Now, the purpose of joint UK-India fund is to leverage private sector investment from the City of London to finance India's infrastructure projects and it is likely to raise around £500 million pounds initially. It will focus on initial investments in India's rapidly growing energy and renewable, renewable market. Now, NIIF, that is uh, the National Investment and Infrastructure Fund, was formed. Now, this was formed in 2015 to finance greenfield as well as brownfield projects. Now this was started to finance greenfield and brownfield projects in 2015. Next question. What is the India's rank in the world's largest tourism economy in terms of GDP according to the latest report of the World Travel and Tourism Council? A. 9th B 7th, C 4th or D 11th. So the correct choice is B 7th. India's travel and tourism sector has been ranked 7th in the world in terms of its total contribution to country's GDP according to the latest report of World Travel and Tourism Council. Now according to data, data the travel and tourism sector it generated rupees 14.1 trillion now this is the amount it generated in 2016 which is world's seventh largest in terms of absolute size additionally the sector also created 40.3 now this sector uh, the tra uh, tourism sector also created 40.3 million jobs in 2016 which ranks India the second in the world in terms of total employment generated. Now, sector accounts for 9.3%. This makes it 9.3% of country's total jobs. So, this made India the second. This made India the second uh, in the world in terms of total employment generated. Moving on to next question. The Asian Development Bank or ADB has approved how much amount of loan to Power Grid Corporation of India Limited? So the choices are A. $175 million B. $160 million C. $188 million or D. $196 million So the correct choice is A. That is $175 million the Asian Development Bank has approved a 175 million dollar loan to Power Grid Corporation of India, that is limited, that is PGCIL, to expand its solar energy transmission network. Now, this has been done to expand the solar energy, solar energy transmission. transmission network in the country. Now the project funding will improve the capacity and efficiency of interstate transmission networks particularly in transmitting the electricity generated from new solar parks to the national grid. Moving on to question number seven. What is the theme of 2017 World Health Day? Choices are move for health, be food safety, C. Depression. Let's talk. 
or D working together for health so the correct choice is C that is depression let's talk the World Health Day is observed on April 7th every year to mark the anniversary of the founding of World Health Organization. So this is the founding day of World Health Organization or WHO. The day provides a unique opportunity to mobilize action around a specific topic of concern to people all over the world. Now this year the WHO is leading a one year global campaign on depression with the theme depression Let's talk, which is the leading cause. Now, depression has been identified as the leading cause of ill health and death among 15 to 29 year olds. More than 300 million people are now living with depression, an increase of more than 18% between 2005 and 2015. So, this is a very alarming figure. It affects people of all ages, from all walks of life, and in all countries, right? Moving on to question number 8. The 2017 National Tuberculosis Summit has started in which city? A. Chennai B. Hyderabad C. Gohati or D. Dharamshala. So the correct choice is D. Dharamshala. The National Tuberculosis Summit has started in Kangra district of Dharamshala, HP, on April 7th. Now this started on April 7th. April 7th. The slogan of the summit is India versus TB. TB Harega. India, So this is the uh, this is the slogan of this particular summit. The two-day event will provide a platform for tuberculosis experts, scientists, patients, doctors, and government representatives to discuss strategies for implementing a TB control that engages all stakeholders. It will raise awareness and increase momentum to fight. TB. Moving on to question number 9. Which movie has won the best film award in the 64th National Awards 2017? Choices are A. Rustam, B. Ventilator, C. Kasav or D. Nirja. So the correct choice is C. Kasav. Now Kasav has won the best film. Now it has won the best film award in the 64th National Awards which were announced at National Media Center in New Delhi on 7th of April 2017. Rajesh Mapuskar. Rajesh Mapuskar has been named as the best director for his best director for his Marathi film, Ventilator. Akshay Kumar won his first national film award for his role in Rustam. Akshay Kumar. He also won the national award for his role in Rustam. A courtroom drama which was inspired by the 1959 Nanavati case and was adjudged the best actor for Rustam while Surbhi Lakshmi won the first uh, Surbhi. Surbhi Lakshmi won the Best Actress Award for Min, uh, Minami Nongu. Now she won the Best Actress uh, Actress Award for the film Minami Nongu. So Am Amitabh Bachchan star, star film Pink has been named the Best Film in the category on Social Issues. And the Best Hindi Feature Film Award went to Nirja directed by Ram Madma Madhuni. So, Pink won the best film in the category on social issues and Nija. Nija, it won uh, the best Hindi feature film. Best Hindi feature film, film award. So, moving on to the last question that is, India has signed defense deal with which country for advanced medium rate surface to air missile systems? The choices are A. Japan, B. South Korea, C. Israel or D. Russia. So the correct choice is D. Israel. 
India and Israel have signed a mega defense signed mega defense deals. Now they have signed mega defense deals of over two billion for advanced surface to a surface to air missiles. Systems which are designed to destroy hostile aircraft, missiles and drones at a range of 70 kilometers. As a part of the deal, Israel Aerospace Industries will provide Barak 8. Now, Israel Aerospace Industries will provide Barak 8 advanced medium range surface to air missile systems to the Indian Army. Now these Barak 8 systems with their multifunctional uh, function surveillance and threat alert radars as well as weapon control systems with data links they can detect and track hostile aerial threats at a range of 100 kilometers now these can detect uh, the hostile aircraft at a range of 100 kilometers and destroy them at 70 kilometers consequently they will help in plugging the existing holes in India's defense coverage so these systems are going to be very useful for Indian Army and because they have a multifunctional surveillance and threat alert radars, which are also known as multifunctional surveillance and threat alert radars. These are equipped with this feature, which will help detect the hostile aircraft at 100 kilometers and will destroy them at a range of 70 kilometers. So with this, we come to a close of today's quiz. Thank you so much.